little bit of St. Anne's Reel there. Specifically, I got a lot, a lot of that arrangement from uh, a wonderful guitar player named Steve Lewis, and I'll post a link to his version uh, down below. Um, so I want to talk today, um, I've been hearing a lot of stuff where people say, um, you know, you shouldn't use tab, okay? Or you shouldn't learn with, with tab. And um, um, so I want to talk a little bit about that. What, what do I think about that and uh, what it's good for and, um, and what it's not good, good for, okay? So first thing, what it's good for. Tab is really good um, if you live in Illinois and there's not a lot of bluegrass players around and you, but you can get a tab book or a tab off the internet um, and start to learn. So tab is a good way to start to learn when you don't have access to people, okay? It's a little different now because we do have, you know, I teach lessons now on the internet to people from all over. You know, that wasn't really a, a thing <laughs> in 1992 when I was learning. Um, I had a book. That's what I started with. Um, tab is good if you can count, if you can keep good timing. Um, you know, and do quarter notes and eighth notes, and and, uh, and and keep keep good timing. The tab is great for you. Tab is good to learn pick strokes because you can really see where the beat is. So some people are audi audible learners, and some people are visual. I was probably a little of both when I was learning. I certainly could not transcribe. Um, very much, just a few notes at a time when I was learning. So for to me, like to sit down with a, a song off a record and try to transcribe it, it wasn't going to happen. I could do a few notes, but I could play through the tab. Um, and that might, I might have been aided by maybe starting a little bit on piano. I had a few months of piano lessons. I played the French horn in the band in, you know, fifth through eighth grade. So we did some reading music and stuff like that, but I did learn some stuff off of Tab. Now, the thing about Tab, um, it's good to get started. It does have a shelf life. And we know this because you, you see people on stage, they don't have Tab, okay? It would not be possible to play and memorize all that music in Tab. It's not possible, okay? Um, it, you don't see people at jam sessions with tab. I hope you don't, okay? It's not possible to go and play for several hours at a jam session without tab. So it's good to learn, to get started with, and we know that there's going to be a time, just like the training wheels on the bicycle, they're going to have to go. So then we start thinking about, well, what's going to replace it? Because if you're not going to have tab, tab is a system where you, you know what it is. You, you have the numbers written down. It tells you where to put your fingers. Great. What's going to replace that in your mind? What's going to be the system that replaces tab? Because there is a system, okay, that will replace tab. Now, years ago, there was the movie. And it told us a lot. It's a dumb movie, but it told us a lot. There's that sound of music. And she said, Do, a deer, a female deer, Ray, a drop of golden sun. They sang that whole Do, Ray, Me song. And we thought it was about deers and long, long way to run. No, it was just about what the notes are. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Di, Do. And people learned to sing out of this. And you said, well, the hillbillies didn't learn to sing out of this. Yes, they did. This they did. The shape note books. All of the bluegrass people talk about the shape note books, the Sacred Heart publishing books. All of them talk about, you know, learning to sing in church out of those books. Well, those books have different shapes for different tones in the Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do scale. So, so it is uh, whether whether or not they're learning that that exact thing that Julie Andrews was singing with Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do, which is you know, a thousand years old, or they're just learning the sounds. People learn that. They learn it all over the country. So yes, it is a real thing. 
Um, when I went to school, though, we didn't sing Do, Re, Mi. We sang numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? So, what you got to do to replace tab is you have to start thinking inside of the scale. Okay? So, I teach everybody to do, like, five-note scale. Okay? Because that gets you one through five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay? Because all songs start on the, the root, the third, or the fifth. And then I also like to have you play a fifth below. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, five, one. Because most songs are not contained between the root and the octave. They're contained between the, the low fifth and the fifth. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, five, one. Okay. So now I can think what you got to find out what note, what scale degree this thing starts on. Okay, St. Anne's Real. St. Anne's Real starts on the root. Well, no matter what key that song is in, it starts on the root. No matter what octave the song is in, it starts on the root. So if I know a scale, and I, and I can start on the root, I can use my ears and hear up and down the scale, and I could probably play that song. Right? Now you'd have to know those scales in those different positions, but you could do that, and you get better at that as you go. So, one question I have for people is, okay, if given 20 minutes, could you figure out how to play Happy Birthday? And, and most people will say, yeah, I could figure out how to play Happy Birthday. Okay, then you can do this. Okay? Now, Happy Birthday starts on the fifth. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. It starts on that low fifth, though. some notes wrong but I start fishing around I could find happy birthday given some time well if you can do that you can do almost any melody okay so this is one thing is the tab is a physical system tells you the numbers to put your fingers on this is a system where you work within a scale from notes one through seven okay those two systems both use numbers and they have nothing to do with each other Okay, absolutely nothing. Now, you could, in modern era, you could still use Do, Re, Mi. That would be just fine. All songs would start on Do, Mi, or So. All songs start on the root third or the fifth. So you could still do it. You could go Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, Fa, La, La, Do. I can't do it backwards. Do, So, Do. You could still do that. Do, Re, Mi. So my suggestion is just... Figure out what the starting note is. Here's how you start doing this. Here's a practical tip. Take a song you play, and then I want you to learn how to play it in a different octave. So let's say you play, um, let's say you play Whiskey Before Breakfast, okay? And let's say you play that out of C. Okay. And let's say, well, that starts on the root, okay? So, go up to a different octave. Start on the high root and learn where the scale is and play Whiskey Before Breakfast up high. It's gotta be a song you play in one octave. If you play St. Anne's Real up high, figure out what the starting note is. It's the root, okay, stay in the scale and play it in a lower octave. See if you can do that. Now, those are fiddle tunes. Maybe, maybe it is Happy Birthday that you start with. Maybe it's Mary Had a Little Lamb. I don't know. But, in any case, what, what's the starting note? Not just what the note is, 
Where does it belong in the scale? Is it the first, the third, or the fifth? Great. Now, can you move it somewhere else on the guitar? So, uh, that's how to start thinking in numbers, not tab numbers. And this system can replace the tab. Is this the only thing? Is there something somebody else knows that I don't know? Of course there is. Goodness gracious, yes. <laughs> There's so much that I don't know. Okay? But this is a really good system, and this is what they taught me in college. It's what I studied. I learned how to play melodies based on the number of the scale. So this does work. Um, and it's something that's been used for a very, very long time. It's, is it universal? I'm not going to say it's universal to all people, but I'm going to say it's taught widely. It is real, okay? And you'll be doing good um, if you start learning to do this. Um, that gets you going. It's, it's, it's a short YouTube video. We could work together longer in a lesson or um, something down the line. So visit me at andyslessons.com. All right, I'm going to try to play St. Anne's Real, and I'm going to try to play it in as many keys as I, I can before I uh, just really get tired of it, okay? Here we go, St. Anne's Real. Start out in D. about key C. is next. something normal, sort of, B. Thanks a lot. You guys have a great day.